So everybody, welcome to the Vermont State Senate Committee on Institutions. Today is September 9th, 2020. You're here to talk about H880. I'm Joe Benning, the chair of the committee. We have Senator Maza from Grand Isle, Senator Lyons from Chittenden, Senator Hooker from Rutland. Uh, Senator Rogers from Essex Orleans is usually with us, but will not be with us today as I understand it. We are picking up our conversation from yesterday in which we began uh, to talk about the bill. As a result of our conversation yesterday, I have asked Ellen, how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Kikchowski? Tchaikowski. Tchaikowski, thank you. Um, I asked Ellen to take a look at it and give us some different language. I want to give her lots of credit because I sent her that message late last night and I don't know what time she actually did it, but it was on my uh, computer when I got in to work early this morning. So thank you very much for that. It has been passed around to the various stakeholders who were testifying yesterday. I understand that um, the folks who were with us yesterday are all in approval of this. I'll add that I had a conversation with Representative Tom Stevens, who chairs the House Committee that uh, originally brought this bill to the floor of the House and then to us. And I understand he is in favor of the concept changes as well. But Ellen, if you could just give us a, a brief rundown to what is now a two paragraph bill. At least to let us know what the uh, changes were. Since you weren't here yesterday to give us the walkthrough, I should probably turn that over to your good service. Sure, but you didn't seem to need me. You guys did a great uh, job discussing the bill. And it is pretty short, so that does make it easy. Um, so there are uh, sort of three changes, um, but it is a strike call just for, for ease of reading. So, so in section one, which is the statutory citation here, um, in the prior version, there was a subdivision A and a subdivision B. And so I've struck subdivision B and that was the language that had the commissioner of forest parks and recreation um, adopting rules about what to do if there were multiple spellings. So currently the language just reads, the commissioner before installing new signs or replacing existing signs in a state park shall consult with the Vermont Commission on Native American Native American Affairs to determine if there is an Abenaki name for any site within the park. If the Commission on Native American Affairs advises the commissioner of an Abenaki name, the Abenaki name shall be displayed with the English name. So that will be the new language in Title 10. Um, and then, so I amended the, the Section 2, which is the session law provision um, relating to what the Commission on Native, Native American Affairs should is to do. So on or before March 15th, 2021, the Vermont Commission on Native American Affairs shall prepare a list of places and landmarks with Abenaki names. If there are multiple spellings, if there are multiple names or spelling variations for a place, the commission shall select a name or spelling to be used on signs in state parks. The commission shall present the list to the commissioner of forest parks and recreation in order to facilitate the construction of signs as required under 10 VSA 2613. The commission shall also determine if there are sites outside of state parks with Abenaki names for which new signs should be considered. So this is also a change from the prior draft um, to sort of clarify what those additional names should be used for. And then finally, the effective date section was changed so that the act shall now take effect on January 1, 2021. So Ellen, just for the edification of our listeners who may not be familiar, Title <clears throat> 10, can you tell us since these changes are being made to Title 10, what does Title 10 normally cover? Uh, title 10 is conservation and development. Uh, it is the title I spend most of my time in, which is largely all of the environmental and land use sections. And so specifically, this chapter um, is the chapter regarding 
forest parks and recreation. And so this will appear under the other sections related to the commissioner's um, powers and duties as commissioner. Thank you. Um, committee, I'm just going to add a comment regarding the last line on, actually this is lines two and three on page two. Yesterday, when the bill was presented to us, the commission was charged with having to come up with a list of names that might be outside of the state parks. And the language originally read for which new signs would be required. I've changed it to be considered because I didn't know where they were going to end up having to go if uh, something was required for the state to do. And it also occurred to me that there might be a fiscal note that might be required with that should some agency be tasked with required changes to places on signs that were outside of state parks. I don't think it hurts to have the commission come up with a list of names that might be suggested for any other um, place named signs, but I didn't want to have it come up in this bill, which might lead to a a further glitch uh, where appropriations might have to come into play and ask questions. So the commission can come up with a list. They may want to advocate for something down the road a piece, but that'll be in a separate bill in a separate time when uh, maybe some of us will be back to talk about what should or should not happen. Other than that, uh, does anybody have any questions for Ellen? Um, Commissioner Bill. You move the bill. Okay. Can I just ask Commissioner Snyder if he's okay with this language? No. <laughs> no, Thank he'll you. just get us in trouble. <laughs> Easy now, Senator. As you know from yet, thank you for the record, Michael Snyder, Commissioner of Forest Parks and Recreation. As you know from my testimony yesterday, very enthusiastic supporter of the intent here originally, uh, and I'm seriously grateful for your consideration of the request to change. I am even more comfortable now and even more enthusiastic about getting Abenaki place names in state parks as appropriate. So again, thank you for the efforts. Um, sorry to hold you up, but I think that was the right thing right. to do and I feel good about it. Thank you. You're, you're happy, I'm happy. As, you, as you know, Commissioner, the Senate Institutions Committee always aims to please. I've, I've noticed, <laughs> duly noted. Thank you. Senator Mazza has moved that we adopt draft 2.1. Is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion, are you ready for a vote? Um, I am not sure whether we need to do a roll call on the draft changes. Well, let's do it for the sake of doing it. Cheryl, you're the clerk. You want to call the roll? Okay. Senator Lyons. Yes. Senator Mazza. Yes. Hooker. Yes. Senator Benning. Yes. Okay. So we so have that moved, was on the change. That was on the uh, amended version of, which is actually draft 2.1 of H880. Now, is there a motion to move the bill out of committee? So moved. Senator Mazza has moved to send the bill out of committee. Cheryl, would you like to take the roll again? Senator Lyons. Yes. Senator Mazza. Yes. Senator Hooker. Yes. Senator Benning. Yes. Um, if it's okay, I'll report the bill. I can't wait to see what kind of flack I get on this one, um, but we will handle it. <laughs> okay, and, and Senator Benning, you just need to get the bill and the vote up to the secretary. Yes, I think, um, Ellen, this is still in draft form. Do you need to change that and get it back to me so that we can ship it up to John Bloomer? Yeah, I'll take the highlighting out really quickly and then I'll get it to you. Okay, very good. Is there any other business to discuss? Oh, I see that uh, Representative China is here. I'm going to tell you we've already passed the bill, so now you can go back to wherever you were. How's that? Thank you, and I appreciate you taking the time to make the change and get it moving, so thank you. Well, it's now coming back on your shoulders because when we send it out our door to the Senate, assuming they adopt it, it's gonna be back to the House because we've actually modified it and um, 
did a strike all. So you're going to have to explain to the house how to get it moving through there. All right. Well, thank you. Good luck. All right. Committee, that does our business for today. Thank you very much, all.